Good afternoon. Today I'd like to talk to you about the search box in Map Genius. The search box is located at the top left of the screen here, right here, and you can search by address, parcel number, or your last name. Uh, now I designed this to be similar to the, like the Google search or Yahoo search where as you type suggestions will drop down and you can select from those. So let's begin. I'll type in the address. This will be our county annex building at 10 Southwest 2nd Avenue. And as you can see, here are your results you can pick from. Now all these addresses come directly from the email on database that our that office maintains. Uh, so you're getting the latest addresses for this area. And as you can see, I also added the what city that address is in. Because sometimes you have two addresses, similar addresses that are in different cities. Now you you can either pick one of these or you can just keep typing and it'll keep filtering the results. So let's pick uh this here. Now as soon as, as soon as you select a address, it'll zoom into it and highlight the parcel. Let's do one more address. We'll do uh, 3400 Southwest. And here are your results. And again, you keep typing or pick, pick a result. We'll pick this one. And sometimes there's a, a few second delay, um, so please be patient as it zooms into it. Now, for address, it's important to, if you want the suggestions, you have to follow this format, um, which is the house number followed by the direction of the street, followed by the number of the street. Um, and you have to use SD for street or AV for avenue or CIR for circle um, to get the suggestions. Um, now, you don't have to follow this format. You could do, um, for example, you could do this. Say you spelled everything out. Just put the number there. Maybe typed in Avenue. This search button is right here to take care of these instances. Um, so let's select that. Pick the search button. And it formats it for you and zooms into it again. Um, there we go. Or right, still last thing. Let's say, um, oh, one more bit on addresses. Um, no, we'll do last thing. All right, Johnson. Let's pick Johnson. Now, if you backspace, you see you got all the Johns, because um, that's all we type. Uh, just continue typing, and it'll keep filtering it. Always put a space before the first name. And we'll just pick one. And as you see, with name, I also put the parcel number next to it in case um, there are two similar names like here. There's four names. Also I put in, if there's two first names in the parcel record, I put those here too. So we'll just pick one. And there we go. Zoom into it. Selects it. Um, Alright, let's do parcel number. We'll do 7240 dash and you can either pick one from here you can scroll down you can keep typing to filter more there you go now similar to the addresses it's also important that you follow this format for parcel number which is five digits dash three digits dash dash three digits um, now you don't have to follow the format you could do Let's do 7241-1, and just use the search button here, and it'll find 7241-001. There we go. I would do one more parcel, say 5600-dash, here are your results. We go. 
No, do one more owner name. Let's do uh, Fontaine. Let's bring in Fontaine. Let's see. All right, there's a Fontana. No pick one. Now, this data is coming directly from the property appraisal, the parcel data, owner name data. So everything's up to date and uh, current. Now, if you want to find, say, all the longs in the county, type in long. Now, it's giving you all the longs, but you could also use this search button. And it'll return all the longs. And that's pretty much it. It's that simple. I hope you enjoy it, and let me know if you have any questions.